राइट में बैठे हुए हैं ही इज एन एग्जिबिटर प्राइम रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फॉर द एग्जिबिटर्स क्योंकि एनी फिल्म दैट इज मेड हैज टू गो टू एन एग्जिबिटर वो दिखेगी ऑडियंस टिकट खरीदेगी पैसे बनेंगे अदरवाइज देर इज नो बिजनेस फिल्म कोई अपने शौक से बनाता है लेकिन इनका काम है कि फिल्म को बिजनेस करके पैसे हम तक प्रोड्यूसर तक पहुंचाना तो प्लीज टैचर एंड एक्सपीरियंस टू हेल्प सिंगम टू क्रिएट अ फिल्म इंडस्ट्री टू क्रिएट ऑडियंसेस टू क्रिएट द अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर यूथ टू गेट एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड टू बिकम स्किल्ड सो दैट नॉट ओनली दे कैन वर्क इन सिक्किम दे कैन ऑल्सो वर्क आउटसाइड Sikkim into other parts of India, but best of all, right now what they have shown is through the initiatives that they have taken, people have left enterprising jobs and everything across the world and come back to Sikkim because they are seeing their own government is doing something for it. I think the good news you will give them. May I present the secretary IPR of Sikkim? She also, you know. क्या होता है जो काम करता है ना तो उसी बहू को ज्यादा काम दिया था सो नॉट ओनली इज सेक्रेटरी आईपीआर शी इज आल्सो बीइंग गिवन द होम पोर्टफोलियो एज अ सेक्रेटरी तो देयरफॉर व्हाट हैपेंस इज शी इज प्रॉमिस्ड मेनी थिंग्स टू अस एंड शी इज इन द पोजीशन टू डू दैट एंड शी विल लिव बाय हर वर्क शी विल शेयर ऑल द थॉट्स वी हैव सब मैं बता दूंगा तुम्हें फायदा क्या डॉक्टर राहुल बनर्जी डॉक्टर राहुल बनर्जी इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग Sikkim Film Cooperative Society. Sikkim has got some 41 production houses and 200 filmmakers. And during this festival, they are also going to have a skilling. More, he will tell you yourself in his own inimitable way. And finally, the man who started it all. He just came in and became a member of Film Federation, as one of one of the members, like we all are, and. So he got an idea. If we had a film festival, let's revive it. Where shall we go? Let's go where no man has gone before. So she, he created a festival in Siliguri. Why? Because he's from Kolkata, North Bengal. He could muster in all the resources. पहले अपने घर में सफाई करनी चाहिए, अपने घर में वाट दिखानी चाहिए, घर में पार्टी करनी चाहिए, फिर बाहर मैदान में पार्टी करनी चाहिए. And he's a man. He's a filmmaker, national award winner, and he puts his money where his mouth is. Think of those things you can ask me about in the sidelines, but he is a man who, after making films, after this, let's take good cinema out to different places. Having done it successfully in Siliguri, then he took a fest uh, awards function to Bangladesh, to Dhaka. Why? Because those guys are watching our films for free. So why not create a relationship? They use Bangladesh actors to make Bengali films in Kolkata, and once this happens, then we can have a treaty with Bangladesh so they can actually import our films and buy tickets for our films. And similarly, the same offer is to them: please send your films, and we'll buy tickets for your films. And Bangladesh is as far as not Bangladesh, it's Bangla, West Bengal. As far as they are concerned, they are creative people. They like films. They make their films. They enjoy their films, and they buy tickets for their own films. They don't really need to sell them out. But they make good cinema, artistic cinema that travels around the world. Then Sikkim was there as a guest at the Siliguri Festival, and they decide, hey, can we not have a festival? And Mr. Hassan says, can we not? Is not a way to do things. We shall have a festival, and we will make a good event of it. And we will not just come and make a film and go away. We'll create something that will last long. So the kind of faith that he has given Sikkim. Enough for their top people to come and show their face to you, so that you can not hear it through our words. We are not like some hustlers trying to sell something to Sikkim. Sikkim is a pristine state, not just for films, but for film tourism, normal tourism, niche tourism, and there are places and places to see. Almost, if you were to go to Europe, you get it in here and there. Anything that you want to enjoy, it's here in Sikkim. With that, may I hand over the mic to Mr. For those to the son, President, Film Federation of India. Thank you. <laughs> so, very good afternoon to all of you, and a warm welcome to this press conference. I'd like to thank all my media friends to be here today uh, to attend this event to make it a success, and a very special thanks to uh, Mr. Sandaramji. Sir, your presence matters a lot to us. You give confidence to us, 
and we helped Sikkim to grow a long way. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Friends, uh, as Mr. Tekwani was saying, at a few uh, year ago, a film production of India thought that uh, we should have a film festival. And a film festival, international film festival, uh, not in a metropolitan city, but in a two-tier, three-tier city. And keeping that in mind, we selected Shiliguri and now Sikkim. And uh, in not only uh, doing a film festival in two-tier, three-tier city, but along with the film festival to promote that place as a shooting location. So that's what we did in Shiliguri, and that's what we intend to do uh, in Sikkim. The dates are uh, 28th and 29th of February, and 1st of uh, March. The inauguration is on the 28th morning. Uh, will be done by the Honorable Chief Minister of uh, Sikkim, where he is going to announce uh, the film policy. They have just uh, formed a film policy that they are going to announce there. And this year, uh, uh, in Sikkim, our focus country is Azerbaijan. Uh, from there, we have got around four films, two short films and uh, two feature films. In total, uh, we will be showcasing uh, 18 features film and 18 short film uh, that we have an international sector, we have a national sector and we also have one or two local uh, films in the local language that is Nepali. The opening film will be uh, a short film which is named as 60, every, uh, every 68 minutes. It's on uh, dowry, domestic violence, natural rape and on dowry it is uh, acted, uh, the lead actor is Adil Hussain and directed by Aninza Sarvadegali. That will be the opening film. Apart from screening of film, uh, we will be uh, at least uh, all over India, there will be 50 to 60 director, producer who will be attending this uh, film festival. And the two days, they will be taken to different locations of Sikkim. And they will be having meeting with the government official of Sikkim. So how to, how to go about shooting in the different locations what are the uh, clearance, one window, single window clearance, what are the permissions and other things. And apart from uh, screening of limbs and location visit, we are also having a skill development program, where around, I think, till now, 300 youth and students have registered. We will be having a skill development program for two days, where we will be, uh, we will be having a speaker uh, taking master class at, with seminar and celebrity speakers and experts from uh, different fields of cinema. And this year, uh, we are giving a lifetime achievement to Mr. Vinod Pradhan, a very renowned cinematographer. Uh, he has accepted our invitation and uh, we will be giving a lifetime achievement to him on the 28th of February during the inaugural session. So friends, uh, I, have, I have just given you the uh, basic thing what we are doing. So we have other speakers, uh, they will say one by one. And at the end, if you have any queries, if you have any question, please let us know. We are there to answer you. Thank you. So I, I will request uh, Mr. Ravi to say a few words. Good afternoon. The Film Federation of India, being the apex body of the film industry, it was started in 1952. Incidentally, the film festival also, that is the Indian Film Festival also, was started by the Film Federation of India along with the government. When the film festival was first started, the intention was to provide good films to the Indian, you know, for the Indian film industry to view, learn, acquire knowledge what Indian films and make better films. The purpose of a film festival is this. But as days went on, now everything is available on the net. That means the film festival does not stop. We have now diversified, making the film festival has become a festival. What does a festival do? We've got master classes. We meet people, we speak to people, learn new technologies and much more. So this is what is happening when we are doing this film festival. But all what happens is all these festivals take place in major cities in India. But we don't go to the remote places. In fact, Sikkim is remote only for us. But Sikkim 
is a world of itself. Okay. It is one of the most beautiful places. In, <coughs> they've got a theatre, they've got a separate culture, they've got a separate heritage, which we are not aware. By conducting the film festival there, we are starting skill development in a big way there. We are trying to bridge a gap between the Indian film industry and the Sikkim film industry. And we are trying asking the government, the National Film Development Corporation, to go there, start classes, because there is unique talent available there. We also should be aware that we have got great, you know, talents used in creating for graphics, we require visual effects. We've got many young talent available at Sikkim. So we are putting the, we are having the master classes, we are having the skill development, you know, uh, we are getting good sound recorders and many more. The most important thing which we all forget is, as I said, it's a beautiful place. We go abroad and shoot films. Why don't we shoot in India? So Sikkim is now open to us. So they're asking Indian producers, please do come to Sikkim, shoot in Sikkim. We've got building locations. You can read places of shooting in Switzerland, shooting in Austria. You've got a fantastic place. So this film festival is also promoting Sikkim as a tourist destination. The other is called film tourism. This is what we are planning. And in fact, if we do this, this festival, by doing it at Sikkim, will give a big advantage not only to the Sikkim film industry, for the Indian film industry, because it gives us a different avenue like going and shooting there. Because we spend a lot of money shooting abroad. When we got at a doorstep, we got much beautiful locations. We are trying to utilize the best available locations also. So this is what we are being done. Plus, we are going to increase the number of density of screens in Sikkim. Has to be because there are very few screens there. When the screen, the number of screen density of screen increases, the film industry also will grow automatically. So this is what we are planning. So this is the intention of Film Federation of India to promote, be a bridge between the state and the government, state and the film industry, and this is what we are there to serve, and that is what we are doing. We are hopeful that this festival will bring a radical change in, in the way how Sikkim is looked at. And we are hopeful that the press supports us in developing Sikkim as a tourist destination and for tourism too. Thank you. Thank you, Rinai. Uh, Mr. Ravi, and you have really brought out everything so far as the yeah. film festival and uh, uh, the film industry for second development is concerned. I was uh, quite uh, intrigued when Dr. Rahul Banerjee, he brought out that there are just three cinema halls in Sikkim. So considering that I am from the exhibition sector, I feel that uh, increasing density of cinemas in Sikkim is very important. And an exposure like this, the Sikkim Film Festival, I think it will uh, bring in people from outside also who would be willing to invest there. Plus, the development of uh, from the people of Sikkim themselves to make new cinemas, malls, multiplexes, so that the industry develops. Like Mr. Ramesh ji said, that you can make a film, but unless you can show it as an exhibitor to the public, get money and bring it to the producers, uh, you don't move forward. So I think the initiative taken by the Sikkim government, uh, I really sincerely hope it is going to lead to a manifold increase in cinema activity in Sikkim. Thank you, Manager. Good afternoon to everybody. Uh, this is a good event, which is going to happen on the 28th of Feb, 2020. Because wherever the festival is there, I'm a festival person. If you know that the, your 24, 25 years back, I was the first person to start a Mami Mumbai Academy Moving Images Festival in the city of Mumbai. I was a founder member at that time. And I started that afterwards, 17 years after the after, after the last 17 years, I'm doing an Asian Film Festival under Asian Film Foundation, which I am the chairman of the foundation. 
I love festivals because that is a real culture which other countries, other cinema we can see in India, in the city of Mumbai. And as far as the Asian festival is concerned, we do it in other uh, cities of state of Maharashtra. We have not done up till now in other part of India, but we'll, from the next year we are starting the other part of India also with the Asian festival. This festival, which is going to happen in the Sikkim, is a wonderful thing. I congratulate the government of the Sikkim government and I and want to congratulate the Film Federation first because they had done it first festival in India. Afterwards, there was a long gap, very long, big gap. Afterwards, other people started a festival. But this festival, which is for our benefit, because we love other part of our uh, countries, where Sikkim has got a beautiful location, I saw that. And uh, I hope this first festival of Sikkim will be a regular yearly event for the cinema lovers and for the Indian producers, directors, actress, actresses. <coughs> because I think, uh, I, I was not in Sikkim, but about uh, 27, 28 years back, I made one film in Bengali, Patho Prashad, which Tarun Muzumdar was a director, and Utpalda was an actor in there. But at that time, I shot in Siliguri, not exactly in uh, proper <coughs> this thing. And it was a wonderful location, wonderful things. This year, when we are going on the 28th of Feb, uh, I want that the festival should be there. And I wanted to invite the Sikkim people for our festival here in India and show us the cinema, what Sikkim is doing it. Because for us, the different culture from the different countries, we love that. I know it's part. In, it's part of India, but then Sikkim films doesn't come here. That's the main problem. <coughs> Indian films goes everywhere, anywhere. But Sikkim films, that those films are not coming in India. So I wanted to invite the Sikkim uh, film people in India. We want that. And this year, when you have started this festival, this will be the starting point for both this, for us, the Indian film industry and the Sikkim film industry. A good things for all of us, and I think we are <coughs> like to congratulate. I like to best wishes to all the people who have organized this, and I hope people who are coming to Sikkim for this festival will definitely enjoy the hospitality and the location, especially the locations from the Sikkim. Thank you very much. Jai Jai Mahar. Uh, I am preempting, and I think probably I wouldn't want uh, Madam uh, Nirmala Thapa to be the last speaker. Uh, a lot of English words from the lexicon has been <laughs> expressed and spoken. We, we heard things like remote, far-flung, isolated, lonely. We heard things like tire one, tire two. No umbrella just taken, sir. I mean, it's all in good humor. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll talk about uh, uh, film shot uh, in contiguous areas like Siliguri and all that. Uh, a small preface from where I, where do I come from and how I am related to Sikkim. So I studied in Dajini and later on probably went on to do whatever. Uh, so more, there is Gorkhachu then probably being a Banerjee or whatever. So more Dajini was <coughs> the same thing. And before I begin, I would like to say Tashi Lelek, which means thank you. Uh, a few counters, but no counters, sir. Uh, Sikkim is not far flung. Uh, a few factual uh, attributes that I would like to bring to this uh, uh, to this audience here, and we have Shantaramji here. Zydus, Sipla, Torrent Pharmaceuticals, IPCA, uh, Ranbaxi, but Ranbaxi is not there anymore. Sun Power. We have around 23 pharma companies in Sikkim. The exports stand amount to 10.33 million as of 2019-20. Now that was far flung about probably a few years back. And we have a, we have, and these people have been getting a lot of government subs in terms of the <coughs> 
once upon a time the C uh, synthesis tax and all that. So we have got 23 now. We have got the one one big another honcho company coming. In. So already a pharma vertical is present in Sikkim, and people are eyeing Sikkim as a coveted destination for research and development. Cinemat cinematography and filmography will be. I mean, it just follows suit. Coming to films being shot and not being shot in Sikkim, sir. Being from Darjeeling, I was part to. I was probably a witness to. Bobby was shot when I was in class four, and uh, till date, Dipal is a hathra for all of us in Sikkim. Uh, yeah, it was shot in Saint Paul, so now we happen to be from those schools. 74 films, recognized films, have been shot in Darjeeling and Kashmir, and these are unstructured, uh, Ramesh. I mean, people who have come in on their own accord, shot films, went off, no government stops, no support, law and order problems. Shah Rukh Khan only the other day, he jumped off a toy train, which was a violative of the normal paradigms that was prevailing there. Sikkim is an aberration, aberration in terms of being a supportive base. The best example is we have Shruti here. I mean, somebody sitting in the audience wanted to be on top of the table, and she didn't want to be here. I, she is the sinusure of all eyes today. She is a filmmaker, and she's a director, and she has shot a film in Sikkim. We are supposed to show that film today to you, just that it didn't go through the last edit in a studio. And the little bit of beta version that I've seen last night is mind-boggling. So, come to think of films being shot in Sikkim, we have got a live example in Shruti doing something. And Shruti, when did you last leave uh, Gangtok and Temiti Garden? Uh, end of November. End of November. Sanjay Kapoor was in the Temiti Garden. We had a seven day shot there. I think there's a, there's a big film under his banner which is coming out. Uh, that's number two. And uh, before I take you through the press conference, the cake slides that we have prepared for you, I would uh, hand over the mic to Namrata ji uh, to do the honours and talk about the government support system that we have with us. Uh, I have worked with IBM USA and Singapore for 19 years. I left my job when I met a, an officer by the name of Minali Shivastav, who is the festival director today. She's an IPS of 2002 batch and currently the IG and I've taken the helm at the Commerce Industries Department as the Special Secretary. And I met her in Delhi on a skill training mission, talking about skills, sir. SICB, which is the State Institute of Capacity Building, have amassed around 74 crores over the last seven years in Sikkim for Northeast. So it's basically, it's, it's, it's just retrofitting. It was skills on the other uh, set of skill councils. But now if we bring in MEC, we have uh, Ma, uh, it's Mohan Soni sir, right? Mohan, Mohit Soni. Mohit Soni would be there gracing the occasion. So we have worked on the skill space. We have got funds from HANS, from INLAX, from FOLS, from various other multifarious agencies across South Asia. So in terms of the skill development and the skills, skill mobilization, fund mobilization, I think we don't find any challenges. In case the last and probably the most important vertical called cinema comes into Sikkim through the hands and the Ashirvad uh, landscape of Shantaramji, Hassan. Hassan has been a private friend of mine. He has, his, his next production goes into Sikkim in another one month time. He is taking up a multiplex, a miniplex, if I stand corrected. Uh, I guess it will not be again that 10 million from Ziders and Torrent. It will be probably 100 million, sir. And I assure you, this is not tier one, tier two. It is a state in itself. We have got a polyglot city by the name of Gangtok, which I can call as a metropolis more than a small town, sir. It's just that it's serendipity. Come into Sikkim, and I can promise you, Shantaramji, out of your 10 more movies going forward, it'll be nine and a half movies made in Sikkim. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Rahul. A very good afternoon to all of you. Uh, privileged to be here today. And uh, during the daytime, I had the opportunity of interacting with the great filmmakers of India. And uh, I'm truly honored. 
And uh, they have really been uh, great in supporting us, and not only in uh, seeking, but uh, making us stay very comfortable in Mumbai also. And uh, they have already talked so much about uh, what is going to happen in Sikkim. So leaving nothing for me to say, actually. <laughs> but I would like to uh, add to what uh, each of our esteemed guests said about the uh, festival and uh, our Sikkim. Actually, I feel that uh, film uh, is a very strong uh, medium, I think, uh, through which uh, uh, we can uh, make our presence felt uh, in the rest of the country as well as outside the country. Because uh, sometimes, you know, people uh, know about Northeast states. They talk about seven sisters and they forget one brother. That is Sikkim. <coughs> so I think this is a very good, uh, wonderful uh, platform which FFI is giving us uh, where we can showcase our talents, where we can uh, showcase our state, because I come from a state, uh, second, where nature smiles. It's, it's a tagline, nature really smiles in second. So, uh, we have, because you know, we have, uh, like what he said, we have 41 production houses, we have uh, many uh, technicians, we have artists, and we have a lot more to offer. Like uh, from government, because I am from government, so we have already framed our film policy, taking into consideration all the aspects uh, to which we can help all the filmmakers, not only of uh, India, but uh, to our own local filmmakers as well. And uh, uh, for uh, future films, we can offer you locations, we can offer you our uh, hospitality, unmatchable. And we can offer you peace, security, a single window system is in place. So there will be, we want to offer you hassle-free, you know, uh, permission system. And uh, as far as documentary films are concerned, we have many uh, folk tales, folk uh, songs, folk musics. So anybody who's interested in doing research and making films, documentary films on this, they are very welcome to come to Sikkim. And, uh, and uh, I think that is, you know, and I'm very, on behalf of the government also, I'd like to extend uh, a very warm welcome to everyone who will be coming to Sikkim. And then, uh, actually, because our people, they are there. Now they are coming forward to uh, give more skills to our people wherever it is required in different areas. We are having different sessions also, technical <coughs> sessions during our festival. And uh, we have, uh, all these people are there. And then uh, film industry is not new to Sikkim also because we've already given you Danny Dendrumpa. We have given you Gitanjali Thapa, right? Manisha yeah, Mani No, Manisha Kura is not from Sikkim. She is from Nepal. <laughs> so uh, my people uh, back in uh, Gantok, Sikkim, actually they were uh, only looking for some uh, platform, looking for opportunity, you know, so that they can proceed further. And then with the intervention and with the support and with the help of FFI, now we are uh, confident, not only government, but my, our filmmakers are very confident that they would uh, really uh, get all the required support from you all to, you know, make a mark in the film industry not uh, within the country, but also outside the country. And uh, well, thank you very much for organizing this uh, uh, Global Cinema Festival in Sikkim, which uh, he has already told you about the dates and uh, how many films will be screened and all. And then uh, I hope that uh, uh, this is just a beginning. And then uh, uh, I hope to get uh, continued support from F FFI in future also. But thank you so much and I wish you all the best. So, winters, we have a lot of 
Insurgency. We do not have any problem like law and order problem also because I worked in home department when I was under secretary also. So that time also uh, we are required to send reports, no crime reports, and all to the ministry. So but we have been sending new reports. The law and order was very. No, it's still better. better. It's still better. It's better. It's better. But ma'am, week me four times, who be here, who are going to visit, people have come. Meghalaya, Meghalaya, Assam. But Meghalaya, Assam is different. 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 Different